Hello, so when I first started my D&D series, I also promised that I would make a few sporadic videos on various species that are kind of considered more rare and difficult to create in Heroforge. So here you go, that's what I'm doing now. I am going to showcase in this video how you can create two different types of lizard men. First, a small, you know, skink-like archetype, and then a big, mighty, strong boy Saurus-like creature. So yes, enjoy. Okay, so here's a general trick when you're making animal humanoids in Heroforge. You can make them really small, and then you just pull the upper scale all the way up then you pick a leg pose with twisted legs so that they don't look too upright and then you hunch the back right over the result will be something like this but th th there's one human feature that is still very hard to ignore in all this and that is the long thin human neck there's no way to get rid of this in here forge so we're going to have to hide it scarves and hoods are really really great on animal creatures because they do just that however in this case i am going to use a scarf but i won't cheat and use a hood funny side note here for my next dnd campaign i'm doing with my group i actually plan on playing a lizard man skink wizard specifically you know because this is warhammer you know so in a way you could call this model a very very early draft of my next upcoming DD character And here is that scarf that I was mentioning before. I will add more to it later on as well when I start double modeling, but the important part is just that it starts to cover up that stupid thin human neck area. Time for double modeling. You will notice that thus far I've been using the snake head rather than the lizard head because one of the most lacking things about baseline Herefort lizard men is that the heads just, they, they kind of look bad, so I will be combining one of the lizard men heads here with the snake head. I will also be turning one of the two torsos into an insectoid chest later to give this lizard boy some more scales over his shoulders and his back. Now, I'm also going to be using one of these two dragon tails and twisting it into his back all the way up to his head fin. This will give the model a lot more consistency from head to tail, and also, you know, it, it just looks cool. So, now I've just thrown on the extra insectoid torso, as you can probably see in these scaly shoulders, but it does it did mean some unfortunate clipping, so I'm using some decal kit bashing just to conveniently hide it up. And of course, as a as a final piece, I am going to be using some more decal kit bashing for details of the eyes. I'm thinking scars on one eye and probably some like gold and paint around the other eye. It'll be cool. So now it is time for a bigger lizardman, arguably almost a draconid, and, and, and yeah, this is probably what more people actually have in mind when they go on to Heroforge to, to create, you know, their big badass lizardman creature, only to end up with this instead. <laughs> so again, I will reuse some tricks here, which I think are almost kind of mandatory for a good, good lizardman. It will need to stack heads, albeit different ones this time. It will also need a similarly hunched over pose to keep it from looking stiff and human. And finally, we are going to need some really big scarves to give the illusion of the non Consistent fat crocodile neck that a creature like this really needs. This time I will be stacking the Lizardman head with the Kobold head once I double model, which will give it the proper length and size for you know an elongated reptile face. But of course, <laughs> that bald, thin back of the human head still betrays the, the original Heroforge silhouette, so we're going to need a lot of horns as well as the aforementioned scarf to bring out the crocodilic illusion. You know, I, I don't know if crocodilic is a word, but whatever.
And now, finally, with horns and scarf on, that ugly thin human neck should become an increasingly distant memory. These shoulder pads are also going to go a long way in making this lizard look more top-heavy and more, you know, Ooga Booga strong. These are a type of dagger which came out quite recently, which Muffy, a contest winner from my server, showed me could be used solely for the feathers attached to their hilts. I decided to take that trick and go, go a little overboard with it as you're about to see. So basically we're going to be creating a massive custom shoulder cloth leading up towards his skull pauldron and just add feathers all over it. One dagger at a time. Every single dagger gives me three feathers, I'll also be putting some around the waist. So yeah, we are going to be using all eight of our extra arms on this, so uh, <laughs> enjoy. Now, thank you for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoy these kinds of bite-sized videos where I go over how to make something a bit more niche in Hereforge, then do let me know in the comments below. Uh, as always, links to these models with and without color will be in the description below as well. And as always, if you like this video, then please press like. And if you didn't like this video, then by all means, press dislike and goodbye. Until next time.